Hi everybody, welcome back. About the same time I was working on the uh, Mr. Gasser and Batfink figures, I was also starting this Revel uh, 1927 Model T Touring Kit. Uh, I've got it completed now, so uh, I'll have the pictures and the video uh, following. Um, but just as, so you know, if you stay tuned till the end of the uh, video, you'll see the in what I was using as inspiration for this build. So stay tuned, see what that could be, what inspired me to buy and to build this kit. And now, on with the show. Well, this is what's included in the kit except for the clear parts. Here's a quick look at the instruction sheet. It folds out in one piece like a road map. The frame goes together in two pieces joining in the center, so I used magnets to line them up properly. Well, after a few days of work, I've got the engine all together and uh, painted up. It's a Ford uh, Blue and uh, tester silver on the transmission. Some craft paints on the other parts there. Got it all ready to go. A lot of work on the chassis. There's a lot of uh, pieces go together. Chassis in two halves. They go together attached in the middle here. And then a lot of uh, suspension pieces, a lot of chrome. It's got the independent suspension on it, which I uh, wasn't expecting. Um, I would have actually preferred the original Model T uh, chassis. Uh, I just found out recently on YouTube that there's an AMT kit uh, of the 27 uh, Ford Touring that has the original um, chassis with the original suspension and the four-cylinder engine, which I probably would have preferred, but this is the one I found first and uh, so I'm putting it together. It's pretty finicky little chrome, a lot of chrome pieces go together here. Uh, it's got the uh, steering. I think the steering is going to be poseable. Uh, so I'm, that's coming along. I've got the uh, the wheels and tires glued together. Uh, I haven't covered up the chrome at all. I just decided, I was gonna, for originally I was going to paint everything black but I figured I'd just leave it the way it is for now and do it box stock. Um, got the little spinners on the uh, on the rims there, I've got the exhaust pipes uh, painted uh, black and then gun metal, and just dabbed on some rust colors to weather it a little bit. Uh, the seats I did uh, I just painted them pink because I did the interior uh, tub in in the sort of a pink primer, and the body, and then I'll paint those with the uh, leather uh, paint over here in the paint booth. I've got as you can see I've got the body panels and the uh, I just, it's just mocked up for now. The interior tub and the body and the uh, fenders, they're, they're not glued together yet. I just painted them with, uh, basically it's the uh, Vallejo light gray primer mixed with a bit of red to give it a pink tint. And then I'll be paint, painting it with the, um, oh, the red uh, Aztec red, uh, uh, opaque red uh, through the airbrush. So it's coming along quickly and uh, hope to get it uh, start assembly soon. Stay tuned. Well, I'm back and I've got the uh, final reveal on the Revell 1927 Model T Touring and uh, came out pretty nice. Went together pretty quickly. Uh, actually, it fit a lot of, uh, everything fit well. Uh, there was a lot of little fiddly parts though. Um, a lot of chrome parts, which I decided not to paint. I just decided to leave it the way uh, it came. I painted the uh, body with the Aztec uh, opaque red and the seats with testers leather came out nice. I just painted a gray primer on the floor and uh, underneath a, a black for, uh, craft paint frame and uh, painted the engine Ford blue and silver on the transmission. The rest are all chrome parts there as you can see. I used a red sharpie marker for the lights and for the um, springs on the coilovers. So that uh, came out okay. 
just use a uh, black paint on the dials with a white uh, pencil to do the uh, lettering. I have the uh, the full top. I painted it white. It's just uh, I give it a second coat of paint and it's drying. I had some old Model T kits I went through in my uh, parts bin, and I found the uh, convertible top for the uh, I'm going to put on there. It's a little bit off, but uh, I think it gives the effect with the uh, top down. When the hood comes off. To see the detailed engine. The fit is very good on, on all these parts. A lot of finicky little bits to try to fit together, but I managed to get them on, especially for the suspension and the steering. Take that off. You can see the uh, engine in there, just detail painted it, didn't add anything extra. This one piece for the steering uh, column here, at the, as I was um, cleaning it up, the end broke off where it would attach to the steering linkage down below. So I just painted it and left the, the end part off. You can't really see it anyway, and I think it would have been a nightmare trying to get in there and attach it to the, uh, the steering uh, linkage on the bottom of the, the chrome piece on the bottom there. So uh, there it is. Again, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Stay tuned. I'll have some uh, pictures uh, following this. So as promised, here are the pictures that inspired me to do this build.